Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Spyro 2, Season of Flame, and we're headed to Arctic Outback. Which is another Sheila level. If only this dingo here would get out of me way. There's still heaps of gems to grab. Despite the unending insults from this little lady, I'll be more than happy to step aside for the trifling sum of 700 gems. No! That's right, Spyro. There's no need to help out Sheila when there's so many gems around here. I'm sure she'll be just fine without your help. Alright, let's actually pay this time. I actually just reloaded the game because I failed to say no. And it was a little weird because I didn't save, but I guess it auto-saves when you go through levels, so it's a good thing I, I reset when I did, but whatever. Anyways, let's pay 700 gems. Excellent! Off you go, my dear Spyro. Uh, or off you go, my dear. Spyro, as always, it's a pleasure to take your gems. Please drop by anytime. Say the word, mate, and I'll be off like a bucket of prawns in the sun. Enter Arctic Outback, yes. What's the problem now, Sheila? Good day, Clabber. Those cheeky Rhinox have turned off the space heaters. I've got to get them working again before the whole mountain turns to ice. Sure thing, Sheila. Let's jumpstart those heaters. Sounds good to me. So this should get rid of those ice, um, those ice spikes. If I could remember the button combination to do that. Oh, why would you turn towards me? Okay, are they like homing on me or am I just getting really unlucky? So that'll melt my way to this guy as well as make a way forward. They're totally aiming towards me, like they're bouncing in my direction. There's no way that I'm just getting this unlucky. I hope that these levels stop you from jumping off of the level because, well, it looks like they do, otherwise I would have fallen off there. Because, yeah, I do not trust these controls to go in the direction I point them. I mentioned this issue before, but just I don't know whether to use the control stick or the D-pad. They're both bad in this case. Which, you know, it's fitting, because I compared this game to Qbert, and man, I cannot make myself go in the correct direction in Qbert. Hello. I guess that worked. Is something happening? I hear noises. That melts my way to the other one, and the other one will melt my way forward. 
or to another one and then forward. Okay, it gets rid of both of those. Well, we saw that this way is the dead end and it gets us some health too. Too bad there wasn't a 25 there. We almost had a string of all the types of gems there in order. It's kind of neat. But then they didn't have the 25-er. So that didn't melt the one to go up, huh? Guess we just gotta deal with this guy for now. Yeah, they're definitely homing on me. Nice triple. Thankfully it shows me which ones milk. So if that one from before ever milks, I'll know. Looks like we gotta mill, like we gotta activate all these to get up the middle path. And it looks like the end is right over there. So we're already almost done with this one. The Sheila levels are usually pretty short. Get rid of that guy, cause he's awful. Now we can get up there, and on this other side. It still doesn't seem like we can go up in that earlier part, though. At least they haven't shown us that we can. Well, that's the last one, so now we can get everywhere. Let's start off with down here, and then let's backtrack. To get that one from way back when. Speaking of Frogger, way back when was a level in Frogger 2. But yeah, this is open now, so let's get this guy out of here, because he's awful. He throws boulders that home in on me. And now let's just head to the end. The last few gems should be there, and we know that the firefly is there. Yeah, I like how they incorporate the Spyro 3 partners into these Game Boy Advance games. They don't just forget about the characters. This is the wrong way. Yeah, they, they bring the characters back and they still let you play as them. That's the last of the gems on this level, Sheila. Way to go! You captured Cole. No, I want to know so I wanted to see what would happen if I accidentally pressed up and left 
just before I jumped to the firefly, but I guess I'll never know, because I accidentally went up and left when I was trying to go down and left so I could test what would happen. Well, whatever. Anyways, next up we're gonna do the other Sheila money bags level. It won't be in this vi I mean... No, we're, we're gonna stick to our pattern here. It's not gonna be in this video. So, you know, this video just might be short, and next video might just be short. That's just how it is. It's fine, it's not like I'm releasing my videos one a day. I release them when they're ready. <laughs> But yeah, so we'll be doing Lunar Ledges next time. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.